All right, we have a new Flash-centric Justice League promo spot that was debuted, released yesterday, and it's part of Flash Week. That's how Justice League, the movie, is branding. They're declaring each week leading up to the movie's release in honor of a different character. Last week was Aquaman, and they partnered with AT&T to release an Aquaman-centric trailer. And this week, it's the Flash's turn. And every day, they've been releasing... Some new Flash, you know, theme thing, like a picture or, you know, some kind or Ezra Miller who's playing the Flash saying something. And yesterday they released this trailer and I'm going to review it and talk about it. But first, let's watch it. All right, here we go. I know you have abilities. I just don't know what they are. Barry Allen, a normal guy got hit by a bolt of lightning, giving him superpowers, making him the Flash. Come on, that's cool. So you're fast. That feels like an oversimplification. He brings to the Justice League this extra-dimensional power, the speed force. He's so fast, in fact, that his movements are invisible to the naked eye. It's really cool. You guys seem ready to do battle and stuff, but I've never done battle. I've just pushed some people and run away. Save one person. Uh, which one? Don't talk. Don't fight. Get in. Get one out. And then? We don't know. He's the youngest member of the Justice League. I need friends. But also the coolest. Can I keep this? He <laughs> <laughs> is nice. Flash has the ability to experience time more slowly than the average person. It's a useful power. Barry Allen is criminally excited to be a part of the Justice League. How many of you are there? Oh, wow, they just, they really just vanish. Huh? Oh, that's rude. That was cool. I like that one. I like that one better than the Aquaman one. And I'll say why. Um, they released... I feel like this one was more informative than the Aquaman one. Or maybe I am just was just paying more attention. I mean, just like with the Aquaman one from last week, the trailer or the promo. They explain who Barry Allen the Flash is. What his powers do. Um, what makes him, you know, unique among the team. But I just felt like they went a bit more in depth. And some of the clues that they dropped here might um, play into Flashpoint, the name of the Flash's own movie he's getting. They talk about how the Flash not only moves at superhuman speed, but he has extra dimensional powers and he experiences time more slowly. So they're totally, I think, in future Flash movies and his appearance is going to play with the fact that the Flash can move forward and back in time and, you know, warp time. Just like in the TV show, the Grant Gustin TV show, they've done that. And I like this. And, you know, Ezra Miller threw in some quips about how the Flash is the coolest and, you know, the hippest and things like that. And they show up the other members of the team at the round table, the actors laughing at that, reacting to it. This just had more energy than the Aqu The Aquaman one was fine. I liked it. But this one, I think, popped a little bit more. And I liked how some of the things he said laid clues for the upcoming Flashpoint movie. The Aquaman trailer laid clues for the Aquaman movie, too. But... I feel the Flashpoint movie is more of a mystery because they don't have a director yet or anything yet. So when you get clues about that, um, and I don't think they even have a release date for it. So when you get clues about that, it's more, I guess, interesting because it's more of a mystery. Aquaman, I'm sure, is going to be great because James Wan's directing it and Jason Momoa is a good hire. I'm certainly not talking bad about Aquaman or anything. I'm just saying this trailer I felt was just... I just think this was better for the character and just more fun than the last one. But the last one was still good. Um, and so I'm curious to see how they're going to... The other trailers are going to do. There's going to be... The only ones left are Wonder Woman, Cyborg, and Batman. So next week it'll be one of them. The following week it'll be someone different. And then the week before Justice League it'll be someone completely different. I'll bet they'll save Wonder Woman for the week before. Because Wonder Woman is a hot character right now for DC and in movies. And it'll be good for marketing. Just before the movie comes out, you have all this Wonder Woman-centric stuff who's kind of like their it character right now. But I like this. I thought this was really good. Um, and I'm excited for the Justice League and I'm excited for Flashpoint. 
And I think Barry Allen, The Flash, is going to be a big highlight of this movie. And this trailer did a lot. Well, I was already confident before I saw this trailer, but this trailer did nothing but... It didn't change me from thinking that. I think Barry Allen's going to be a highlight. I like the extra scenes. I like the more scenes of Barry moving. I love seeing more of the blue lightning energy effects. That's just completely beautiful. The more of that, the better. I liked his exchange with Batman when they're talking to each other and Batman's giving him like this pep talk. You know, I feel like we know a, pretty much summed up exactly what Barry Allen's character and dynamic is going to be with the other members of the team in that scene. The junior member, or in that, that clip of that scene, the junior member who's got to get pep talks and who's maybe scared to be there, they all might be scared, but I think Barry Allen the most, the Flash, because he's the youngest and least experienced, I guess, than some of the others. Well, I guess Cyborg's pretty inexperienced too, because I think he just becomes Cyborg like just before this movie. But maybe the Flash is a bit more honest about the fact that he's afraid or inexperienced, because Cyborg's a robot, right? Who represses emotions, so maybe he's not the type to admit when he's scared or even feel fear the same way. But I like it. It was fun. It was interesting. It was cool. Bring on Justice League November seventeenth. I'm there. I'm probably going to see it multiple times. Thank you for watching this trailer with me and listening to what I have to say about it. <laughs> If you'd like to watch me make more videos about DC movies and TV shows, and of course, Justice League, please subscribe, watch more videos, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.